What's good, Kings family? Welcome back to another film review. This time we got a 2026 receiver, so it was out of the blue. Uh, but Malachi Tony, everybody knows who that is. He's a stud down here. He's probably a future five star uh, if he's not already ready to five star out of American Heritage. Uh, he does play in Broward, but I'm pretty sure he's from Miami. Let's just get straight into it. So as a freshman playing in these games versus Chaminade, as stacked as they are with two power five corners on each side, unfortunately not going to see the what happened at the line of scrimmage here on this two by two set. Uh, it's just going to be a one-on-one -on -one ball on the outside, which is a super dime from Blake. Uh, he's able to get in front of a power five corner right here, and somebody I would love for it to be a Miami Hurricane. Uh, but the ball right to the outside shoulder, way to track and get it in. His ball skills are amazing. Uh, it's one of his best attributes. I think he has one of the best hands and ball skills around. Uh, obviously, he made waves as a freshman, tearing up this competition. Uh, and it starts with, you know, again, Shamadad being a freshman, getting into these games and putting a stamp on it, at making impact plays this early in your career. Every time you've seen these type of players come through and do this as a freshman, these type of type of players have left Miami and left South Florida and have gone and started elsewhere. So it's a great start. Obviously, long way to go. Uh, but you love to see this slant here. Uh, you love to see them, you know, lock them in early and then do it like we can to fight like hell to keep them. You know, you're going to fight like hell for them anyway. So might as well fight like hell with them. What I already committed. We're on the block is his mom loves Miami. Uh, so we just got to keep in that good graces. But eats this cushion up. When he breaks on this slant, stutter, gets across. There was nothing he could do there with that cushion eight up. Assassin, bro. This is elite. When you're stamping, when you're making stamps and – you know, making impacts in these type of games early on, bro. You just know what it is. We'll be looking at some more of the ball skills right here. This is two man under. So what that means is you have two safeties over the top and then it's man underneath. So this is a fade route. The safety initially steps up. That is not there to support. Even though this is a dime back shoulder here from Blake. Safety's worried about this tight end crossing. Sits on that, doesn't get the help, but this is a back shoulder ball. It's actually, you know, well coverage. Malachi is running for this fade. Look where he's, when he's making this move, he's looking for this fade. It's up ball time all day, all day. Positions, great hands, gets around, strong hands, finish it through. Uh, the ball skills are elite. I'm telling you right now, as a freshman making these type of plays, uh, it's there's, there's a reason why he got all the acolytes coming, the ESPN and all this coming. Uh, he, he's going to be one of them ones. And for the Miami Hurricanes to just have him pop now, I know it's early. I'm going to keep saying it. I know it's early. Uh, but you'd rather him be committed than not be committed. More of a funky coverage here. You got Ennis here in the slot. So this is probably their best player that they feel comfortable man about. You got man on the back. But this corner is definitely just play, bailing, bailing, bailing. He's way off. So quarterback's going to make this a super long throw, but it makes it early. So you're able once you get it out early, you're able to avoid this guy undercutting it uh, for that pick six. Able to get it out there to Mally, and then immediate burst upfield. There was no wasted motion. Catch with your hands like that away from your body, and then that allows you to get upfield immediately. That's the difference. If you allow that thing to hit your chest, this is a catch and tackle. Go snatch it and get upfield. That's what all the difference, baby. That's just natural, 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 natural. All right, Kings family here. He's going to be back uh, two by two to the outside here. This is basically just man on man. He's going to give a split release and then get back on top. Awesome ball here. Get over his shoulder. Uh, and he's going to make that catch. The only thing I would say is I, I love everything but the little jump up with both feet. Let's see if I can get a good pause. Both feet in the air like that because if that corner was aggressive and wasn't on his heels because he's scared of you, I'm about to get your ass heamed up, you feel me? So, but everything else is great. Love the split release. Uh, just maybe not elevate off the ground as much. But again, he's a freshman. So he has plenty of years uh, in high school to tune this up. And a heritage that that's what they do is tune up. Looks like a little zone with man to the near side here. Mally's gonna squeeze um, um <clears throat> Mally's gonna go ahead and squeeze the space, eat this cushion up, and give him a little stutter and move at the top of the route which is going to allow him to get across on this break. A little, uh, you know, it could be a trigger step. A little just hezzy, basically. No, it doesn't. This is not a trigger. Uh, but a little hezzy, basically, you get the DB to freeze his feet. Now he cross face. The quarterback's able to extend the play, so he's able to find them. Uh, but that's just craftiness. You know, the kid's like 13 or 14, for G for Christ's sakes. I mean, the craftiness, the explosiveness, the, 
overall just God given talent and ability uh, is something special, to be honest. This is that big game up there in Georgia. Uh, they got trips here to the uh, near side. It's going to confuse this defense. Got a deep third corner. This safety, he's way too far over here for my liking. He's not able to get over. You see this guy, Miley, streaking. He should have been over there already. Um, but he turns his head. He's within 10 yards. So the quarterback's able to find him, throw the ball up, test the cats on three people. Uh, I mean, the overall ability is just is just crazy. High point the football, contested catches going up. This is on the road, out of state, out of Georgia powerhouse, uh, just taking care of business. The ball skills is crazy, Kane's family. Here, him, him and Brandon will be switching. He got a uh, corner, and he's just basically just crossing like a post, but he's, there's just literally just the top of the route, just crossing and crossing and crossing, trying to get behind. Uh, this second level one in, in front of this safety as dropping back. They're obviously playing soft. You see everybody dropping back. No one's even pressing these receivers. They're giving these hitches on the outside. Uh, they're daring them. They're just giving them to them. Uh, but quarterback steps up, and then he throws this ball really low, right, trying to keep him away from getting hit by the safety. So he's throwing that ball just to protect him and then give him a chance. And then, again, as a freshman, 14 years old, 13 years old, whatever he is, uh, making these plays again big look at the stadium it's packed out again this is a big time georgia powerhouse i forgot who it was uh that they went over there and uh had a good game against um but this is why they had a good game because you have freshmen going out there and making these type of plays first play of the year uh it's just the ball skills are there uh, you need these type of players to stay home long way out and hopefully i get to review a lot more of his film coming up kane's family so that's going to wrap up this review go canes <laughs>